Alright, what's up guys? The Tori got here. He was Black Ops 2 gameplay. Um, so, on this gameplay, I'm playing objective. And, um, I believe I go 50, 60 something. I'm not sure if I got the score streak. Um, but as you can see here, I started off, I'm at 73. So, um, started off kind of late because the host migration has started and interrupted the video. So, um, I had to resume it from there. Um, but as you can see here, I started off, um, my kill streaks are Dragonfire, Hunter Killer, and UAV, and I'm using the Peacekeeper with Silencer, and I believe Grip, and, um, yeah, so, I'm here to talk about some strategies a little bit, um, as you can see here, I'm, you know, laying back, kind of rushing at the same time, I'm looking at the UAV, make sure you're looking at the radar, um, and this is objective, so keep in mind objective, you have players and bots, I mean online players, and it's mixed with bots, so as you can see there, um, see that was a real player, um, but I think objective is a really good way to get better at Call of Duty, and, um, one thing about objective that I don't like is that, um, the amount of kills you say if I were to get 60 kills, you would only earn half of that XP that you get. So, um, that's why usually I really go try hard because, um, being that you have half of the XP, um, if you get somewhere around 20 kills, it won't really be nothing. It'll just be like going and kill confirmed, um, non objective and getting 10 kills. That's how it'll be. So, make sure if you play objective, you get at least. A really huge amount of kills. Now, what I want to talk about is uh, oh wow, creation hits. Um, you guys have seen that, didn't you? Creation hits sent me a friend request. Look at that, guys. Creation hits sent me a friend request. That's kind of cool. I'll accept it right in front of you guys. Sorry for interrupting the gameplay, but, um, it's pretty much a legend. Alright, so, um, yeah, we're back in the game. Uh, so you can see here, I'm just, you know, laying back, telling my teammates, you know, go ahead, do your thing, capture the flag, you know. When if somebody, make sure you play as a team, even if you're playing with bots, make sure you play as a team, always. And then you see here, I'm trying to find them, trying to, you know, stay and lay back, cover my base. And, um, I believe the round is going to restart here. As you can see, I was in a struggle trying to get this guy out, but I couldn't. And you see, that's how you need to play. You need to keep your area locked down so that nobody else can get to it. And as you can see here, that's what I'm doing. I'm just, you know, doing my thing. Locking them down, staying back, watching it, and then it gets destroyed. And we lost that round, but we go with the comeback. Alright. On to the next round. Alright, here we go. Alright. So as you can see here, I'm just starting off. We started off with the UAV. Which is really good, so we know, we already know where we're coming from, and um, that was almost a fail right there, and you see that, it's good that you have teammates behind you, make sure you're always running with one teammate, that's what I always say, run with one teammate, you know, just in case something like that happens, and um, yeah, see that, make sure you know, always have one person in the back guarding, guarding the, uh, the base. And, um, I wanted to talk to you guys about my YouTube channel and things like that. Um, being that I don't have HDPPR nor a computer, um, I mean, I have a computer, but as far as the editing the videos and things like that, that might be a little slow at times. Some videos might be edited, some won't, such as this one. This one might not be edited. This one was raw, straight off of my phone. Um, it's really good quality, actually, so I decided to just do it with my phone. And, um, it's good gameplay, so it might as well. What I wanted to talk about was, um, that, um, somebody mentioned to me that I should start doing PS3 modding videos. 
Now the problem with that is that once my PSN hits um online and hits the internet, you know PSN is gonna be on my ass. I can't have that. So as far as um modding goes, I I'll be doing that private. You know, you guys are another website at Tech Game. I'm on there. I'm on Next Gen Update. So I'm on all those. If you want to mod a lobby, you usually see me posted. I'll leave my TTG um name. In the description, um, I think I got banned from TTG actually because I kept getting accused of not hosting my lobbies. Um, and the thing was that I told every single person to subscribe, and I guess some people got cranky and uh, they went ahead and um, reported me for no reason. Then after that, I still gave it to them and they still reported me. So I'm on NGU now, so yeah, and I got a dragon fire as you can see there. I got a dragon fire there. Um, I don't think I called it in. There's another round coming up. Um, this would be a pretty much long gameplay here. Um, so you can see here I'm just running around. Not really doing much. And, um, yeah. So here I am. I got another dragon fire before, but I didn't use the other one that I used it before that. So as you can see here, it's like some fun invite. So you can see there. Waiting for waiting to respawn. So let's get past that. Then we call on a dragon fire. Got to fast forward that a little bit. And you see here, I'm just you know curving my database, doing my thing. And uh, that was a pretty that was, wasn't wasn't really getting enough kills on my dragon fire. Um, and you see here, I'm just trying to cover my base desperately, and uh, I pretty much fail. Um, actually got eight seconds before spawning back in, so I was pretty late as far as getting back in. And um, here we go, I died again. But I believe this time I was just going ham, I was going hard. And right now, my score is 39 and 8. That was my score then. That, this was an amazing kill. Headshot. I couldn't even see his face. I couldn't even see his body. I couldn't even see his gun. That was a thing. And I was just going ham. I believe the Peacekeeper is a really good gun. Only thing sometimes it can be a little frustrating just because the Peacekeeper has excellent iron sight, but the damage on the Peacekeeper is not that great. You always need FMJ. Um, and if you're using a Peacekeeper, always shoot above the chest. So it has to either be the chest or the head. If you don't shoot above there, it's too many shots until they die. And it's, it gets really complicated. Um, so as you can see here, I'm running in for the team, grabbing the flag, and uh, you know my teammates backing me up, grabbing the flag. So you can see here, my teammates are going down. See, that's how you play: take them down, be alert, and then we won the round. And there's another round coming up. Going to get fast forward past this one because I wasn't getting any kills like for the first ten. So you see, I wasn't getting anything. And my hunter killer got some kills. And then this was the last round. And, uh, we were just rushing. As you can see here, I was in. And then this guy. Let me show you guys this. He was in the background. Me being smart, I seen him in there. Lucky then the bot was over there. And then watch this. I could have died. Dropped him. And then here comes my teammate with the flag. And we win. I believe this one more round, but we got past this round easily. See, I am with the dragon fire, and then it gets blown down. So then here I am, just running, 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 running. And I'm just going straight for the thing because it was three rounds, and we we didn't know who was gonna win, so it was just kind of like a rush mode. And then eventually, time wasted. I done my dragon fire, and then we won. We won the whole entire game. And, um, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. My score was 51. 51. 51 kills, 9 deaths, 1 captures, and 4 returns. Um, so make sure, guys, that you guys, that you subscribe. And, um, definitely comment below what you, your thoughts. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.